Hi guys, we're going to head into Chanel. Today is the launch of Chanel 23A, which is the pre for collection. And you also know it as Mathieu Da. My lovely SA has booked an appointment for me, so I'm just getting ready and we'll head there soon. I just want to show you my outfit or what I'm planning to wear. In Australia, it is currently very cold. And surprise, surprise, I kept both coats <laughs> from my last haul so if you haven't seen that video i'll link it above for you guys but yes this is the s max mara coat that i got and i absolutely love this one so let's cut the tag off okay i am definitely keeping this one it is super nice and warm i think i'll get a lot of wear out of this one. and <laughs> over here we have the other thing that i haven't shown you yet so this is the lovely sweater that my mom got me for Christmas, actually. And I did film an unboxing of everything I got for Christmas, but I just never got around to editing that video. But I really want to wear that sweater because it's 100% cashmere. And you guys know I just adore and love cashmere in winter. So it will be nice and toasty for me to wear that today. So yes, hopefully I can still eventually get that video up for you guys. But yeah, just thought... I'll do a very quick reveal here before wearing it. So this is the quickest unboxing ever. So here is the gorgeous sweater. So it's got that, uh, you know, Chanel wave design. And I believe this was from 21P. Yeah, so there's the tag there. It's in 36. And look at these gorgeous Chanel buttons. So there's three on each shoulder. I'm so excited to wear this today. Let's put this on. And then for my jeans, I'm just going to be wearing the AG jeans. So these are the Ferra skinny ankle jeans. Okay, so let's put all this together and I'll show you the complete look with my bag of the day, which will be my Chanel classic flap. I'm taking my gray Chanel classic flap. And I did decide to switch to black jeans because I wanted to wear the Hermes vulva boots. I've worn these so much and my rings keep falling off because it's so cold. <laughs> so let's try not to lose any rings today. So this is the finished look. I've got my Max Mara coat, the Chanel jumper, and then we have my J brand jeans. They are my favorite pair of black jeans, Hermes boots. And then we got my Chanel gray classic flap. So there is the finished look. My essay is waiting, so I gotta go. I'll see you guys at the shops. Let's go shopping. My appointment was at 10. And as you guys can see, there were no line today. <laughs> This is the very first bag that my essay showed me. There are lots of crystals on the handle. What do you guys think of this design detail? I do really love this dark caramel color. It looks very delicious and super rich in tone. The dimensions are actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. It unfortunately does not fit my large size iPhone. So that's a little bit of a deal breaker for how much these cost. I think it was 8750 The top handle does come in a bigger size, but the shape looks very elongated, so not a fan of the larger size. The smaller size is definitely a much nicer shape. Here's a look at the extra mini Coco handle. Coco handle this season has a leather chain on the handle. From pictures, I actually didn't like it, but in person, it looks a lot nicer than I thought it would be. However, wait until you guys see the price. I almost had a heart attack. I thought for a second maybe I was looking at the wrong tag. <laughs> maybe it's for the small size. No, it's for the extra mini. Can you believe that? 9480 Oh my gosh. For such a tiny bag that does not fit your phone.
Here is the small size. In this color, I think the extra mini does look better. I think the chain on the handle looks a little bit more bumpier, like it doesn't look as intricate as on the extra mini, which actually looks really nice with the chain detail. The strap length is quite nice for the extra mini. As you can see here, I'm wearing a crossbody and it does hit me just where my hip bone is. You can also tell apart the extra mini from the small by counting the number of quilts on the front flap. For the extra mini, there are five quilts, whereas for the small, there should be six. What do you guys think of this color? It is very rich. I finally got the chance to try on the Chanel 22 bag. I have mixed feelings about this bag. I do like how it looks and how it sits on me. The crossbody strap is not too long. However, I just feel like because it's quite unstructured, it does not feel like an $8,000 bag. You know how certain bags, it just feels like quality? <laughs> this, I'm sorry to say, did not wow me. Maybe because I usually prefer more structured bags. I think this is one of those rare occasions when I prefer the looks of the black and gold much better. You can tuck in the longer straps and use the shorter one for hand carry. And yeah, it does look like a little cute bucket. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on the Chanel 22. Are you guys a fan of this bag? Here is another top handle bag. This one has gold netting detail over the handle. This size is very similar to the one with the crystals on the handle. The price is 9480 This season, there are quite a few pattern leather bags. This is one of them. It's like a little mini sunset bag. <laughs> the yellow, red and brown. This colorway is quite pretty. There is also one that's got olive green in it. So this colorway is definitely my favorite out of the two. I love how the interior is in that dark, almost like a brownish purple. <laughs> the color is really nice. So yeah, this bag really surprised me and um, you can see the flap also has edge stitching. So not many mini bags have edge stitching these days. So this is a very unique design. This one is 8,750. Let me know, would you guys get a pattern leather bag? This is definitely something different. <laughs> Look at these little beads on the handle. So they're sort of like wooden, but it does have the CC detail throughout the little beads, which I thought is very nice. You would really have to love this bag to get it, right? <laughs> this handle detail will not be everyone's cup of tea. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like these bags with the unique twist of the added wooden details? It even has a CC engraved on the end. The tweed this season is stunning. Here's a look at a few of the ready-to-wear pieces. I do have my eye on some tweed pieces, but they haven't arrived yet. So let's keep my fingers crossed that they will arrive soon. Really love these tweed trousers. The shirt has leopard print and CC subtly throughout. And this belt as well, so pretty. This is the only tweed bag available today. I do love the color combination of this tweed. It has a lot of pinks and purples and also metallic threading throughout. It is an accordion style, so you can't fit too much inside. The price is 5430 
the chain detail is quite interesting. The leather strap is threaded through these little metallic links, which all has that crisscross imprint, which is like the Coco Crush rings. But because the bag is quite tiny, the chunky rings looked a little bit out of place. Do you guys like this tweed? Let me know in the comments. I was surprised to find out that this top handle bag actually fits a bigger size iPhone. So yeah, I was a little bit tempted <laughs> by this bag because I just really adore these circular or half moon shaped bags. The price is 6640 I think the shape is super interesting. My essay also showed me this evening clutch with the pearl detail on the front. This is a stunning piece. Perfect for any special occasions or nights out. The capacity is very tiny. The price is also very high. It is 8,100 Australian dollars. The strap length is pretty good. It can be worn both on the shoulder as well as crossbody. How do we feel about this bag? It looks pretty nice on, right? If only they had another color. Cause you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of black bags. But the fact that you can fit a large size iPhone in there is a massive a win. Phone, so. The mini one is so, so cute though. Yeah, um, I think I do prefer that, this the, shape yeah. better. I don't know why I just love circular bags so much, but they're very impractical. So yeah, <laughs> and you guys already know how many mini bags I have in my Chanel collection. So I try to be better and not add any more if I can help myself. But this one, especially in the white, is so pretty. The leather is not matte, so it's like a little bit shiny. So yeah, I was really tempted. However, this one, because it's round, it really doesn't fit anything. Yeah, <laughs> I managed to talk myself out of it. And you can see the price here, it's 4,540 Australian dollars. This one here is a phone holder. It's actually a good option for those of you that do want a phone to fit inside. It is in age gold hardware. <laughs> My preference is usually shiny champagne gold, but this one is quite functional because you can see on the top there, you can pull the chain through and wear it doubled up on the shoulder or single as crossbody. This is one of the newer designs for this season. As you can see, it is uh, made in calf skin, so the leather does feel very durable. But I'm not sure about that little bit at the top. It almost looks like, you know, those chain wraps <laughs> that you wrap around your chains to prevent indentation. It almost looks like, yeah, it's just a chain wrap on top to hold the chain, but there's no chain. <laughs> so this is only a clutch. Here you can see the price, it's 7,210. How gorgeous is this baby blue color? I love it. Reminds me a bit of the 23P blue, but this is maybe a little bit more blue and less bright. This is another phone holder. So at the back, the bit with the zip, you can put your cards and you know, something slim and then the phone does fit in the front, not the back. I think this bag is a great option for those of you that don't have to carry a lot or just for, you know, going out for quick trips as it definitely does fit all the essentials and the price is somewhat reasonable. It's 5,100. It does come in the wallet on chain style as well, if that's your preference. As you can see, the price is very similar at 5,180. Which one do you guys prefer? Oh my God, look at this yellow. I actually didn't realize they were coming out with these phone holders with top handle. I think this one is so cute. This is how it looks crossbody. This one is definitely my favorite out of all the bags I saw. If I'm not waiting for another bag, this one would have came home with me. It is just under 
then had a quick look at the accessories. So we got some earrings and brooches. Which pair of Chanel earrings would you pick? This little brooch is in the shape of a ballerina flat. It is quite cute, very unique piece, perfect for stacking with your other brooches. Now we'll have a quick look at the Chanel shoes available. These little kitten heels are quite nice. They are in suede leather and you can see it comes in the classic beige and black as well. These would be very nice work shoes. Lots of loafers and platform shoes. Quite a few pattern leather shoes as well. These boots definitely caught my attention. I do prefer this slimmer design and also that tab at the front has the Chanel lettering. It does look very chic. They are very pricey, so I think it was around 3,500. Do you guys prefer this one or the other more classic combat style boots? I do really regret not picking up these black and white ones. They are so gorgeous and back then it was only just over $2,000. This Chelsea style boot is also new. This one has very chunky soles. The stud detail is very cool. Ooh, very sparkly. Glitter sling bags. Platforms are definitely making a comeback. It seems like every designer is coming out with them these days. Oh, check out these. Look at the bow detail and also the little crystal ball on the heel. They are gorgeous. Wish I had more occasions to wear high heels. Oh my god, look at these ones with the crystals. This is so beautiful. I am waiting on a few pairs of shoes, so we'll check back in a few weeks. I'm using my 21A small classic flap today, and the little card holder I have with me is the Louis Vuitton Vivienne Christmas Collection, the limited edition soul print. Let's check out the window display. So we have the very popular 31 shopping bag. This one is in the dark burgundy and black in patent leather. There are the platform shoes, this time in pink. At the back there, you can also see the hot pink and black patent leather 31 bag. This is the other window display. Lots of rich, earthy tones for Chanel 23A. Oh, this bag is quite cute. And it does have the lion charm on the chain. I did pick up something small, which I'll share with you guys in my Chanel unboxing video next. Thank you guys so much for coming shopping with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!